Southern Railway is one of the worst three performers in the country, according to the passenger focus survey of 30,000 travellers. Only just ahead is First Great Western. That is at least partly explained by the disruption caused by rebuilding Reading Station and some serious network rail problems through the Thames Valley into London. In fact, the biggest surprise is that First Great Western has managed to maintain its scores in the face of significant difficulties. Merely not getting worse represents a considerable effort. Southwest trains are seen steady overall improvement, especially in the way it deals with delays. But there is a clear pointer to future challenges. Both Southwest trains and cross country have seen a big drop in passenger satisfaction with the space on board the trains. My train never seems to turn up. On which morning. service? Um, southern. More expensive. Not any better. Probably a bit more crowded and a little bit less frequent. <laughs> I've only really noticed fares going up. I think that's all anyone notices, isn't it? With passenger numbers continuing to grow rapidly and more people having to stand for longer, the crowding is likely to get worse. Southwest Trains is currently making services to Reading one carriage longer. Further ahead, there are also plans to alter Waterloo Station to handle longer trains. Paul Clifton, BBC South Today, Southampton Central Station.